Emma used to be my best friend. I sat next to her in Miss Moyer's class. That's how we first met. After a little while, we did everything together. At recess, we would color in my coloring books, race to see who was the fastest. I always was, of course. And I even shared my cookies with her at lunchtime, something that I would never ever do with anybody else. We even acted like each other, at least most of the time. Sometimes Emma didn't eat her magic red Skittles, and she would even get angry and yell a lot. One day, Emma came to class and she had the prettiest mittens in the whole wide world. They were all pink with big white polka dots and a little bow on the top of the wrists. Emma showed them for show and tell and didn't take them off all day, not even the color. It was at that day she showed me her magic Skittles and told me that she didn't need them anymore. She explained to me that they tasted yucky anyway and threw them away every day after that. I didn't get why she didn't like the Skittles anymore. I mean, I always did, but that was Emma. It was after the day she started wearing those mittens that we stopped being best friends. Emma started being mean and we stopped coloring together. We didn't race and she told me that my cookies were all dirty. Now I know my cookies weren't dirty. My mommy put them in little bags for me and she always washed her hands. Emma started telling all the kids at our lunch table that their food was dirty, even the ones with the cartoon lunch boxes. And I knew that wasn't true. One day she just yelled at us and said that our food was so dirty that she couldn't even just sit with us. She decided to sit all alone and just stared at her mittens because even her food was dirty now. I think mittens make people real sick because Emma never ever took hers off and she got all white and little. Her hair was all icky and she smelled kind of funny too. Like when mommy would forget to clean the refrigerator, she decided to sit by herself in class and all she did was fiddle with her mitten hands in the little cubby under her desk and sharpen her pencils a lot. She wouldn't do her worksheets or answer Mrs. Moyer or even go to recess. She spent recess in the bathroom now. It had been a long time since I talked to Emma and she looked even sicker and whiter and her skin and hair got all ugly and she got really, really small. Even her mittens had funny looking stains on them and she loved those mittens more than anything. All she ever did was fiddle with her mittens and whisper all about the dirty stuff and tell herself that I was okay because she was clean. It was this day that I talked to her again. It was recess and I tripped over my shoelaces into some mud. Miss Moyer told me to go into the bathroom and wash myself off. I walked in and I saw Emma's back. She was all turned around. I said hi to her and I went to get some paper towels from the dispenser. And then I saw that Emma's mittens were on the sink. Want to play the secret game? Emma asked me, still looking at the wall with her hands up at her face, like she was counting for go hide and seek. She made funny sounds too, like when my puppy did when we fed him. How do you play? I asked. I tell you a secret and you never, ever tell anyone. She said as she made more little sounds. Okay, I told her. I, I found something that wasn't dirty. I, I'm not dirty. She turned around. I screamed and I ran real fast like I did when Emma would race with me. I realized that she had never sharpened her pencils under her desk. She had her broken sharpener in one hand, the one where the plastic was torn off. Parts of Emma's hands were missing and torn up and shaved off and bitten. Other parts were black with yellowish stuff coming out. She had pieces 
little pieces stuck to her lips and her teeth. I ran and ran and cried into Miss Moyer's hip. I didn't want to play the secret game. I told her that Emma's mittens were eating her. She laughed at me and told me that the mittens couldn't eat people. But I cried and cried until Miss Moyer left to go talk with Emma about scaring me. Emma wasn't in class for a long, long time. The principal said that no one could ever wear gloves or mittens anymore. And we got new desks without cubbies in them. And the school nurse had everyone come to her office one at a time to look at our hands. All the kids in my class got papers for our mommies taped to our backpacks. And they were all about Emma. And my mommy said, I couldn't be your friend ever again. When Emma did come back, she still got to have a mitten. One little empty blue mitten. Her other mitten ate her hand clean off. And she had a smooth place all around her wrist instead. Miss Moira let her wear it over the place where her hand used to be because everyone kept looking at the little stub. Emma didn't talk to anyone and she didn't color. And sometimes I watched her stare blankly out the window, biting at the inside of her cheek and she would whisper to herself that her mouth, it wasn't dirty.